I'm Michelle Borel. Remember to like and subscribe. Just below. Yes. Good. Thank you. Awesome. Well, what drains your energy? <coughs> Arguments. It is unnecessary. There is a phrase I want to share with you now, and you may have heard it before, and that is brain over brawl. So, how do we deal with that? Brain over brawl. It is okay to walk away. <laughs> it is okay to not win. You know, if you argue with a fool, you know what you make yourself? A fool too. So, not everyone is going to agree with you and not everybody is going to be okay with letting go some things. And if somebody wants that win, it is okay to give them the win. Because guess what? You win by conserving your energy. But how do you build your energy? Some of the things that we looked at in terms of ways to, feel, to feed your mind, body, and soul that helps in terms of building your energy. Prayer, meditation, that love, that love energy, that love, light. And as we look at the word love, it actually, the etymology of it comes from to know. And as we think of to know, we think of knowledge. And knowledge actually means illumination, light. So that love energy, ways of building your energy, that love energy, that light energy, challenging your perception. In terms of wasting your time, somebody might say traffic, but is it really wasting your time? You know what's wasting our time? Negative thoughts. Because what we have to do is challenge our perception and be great alchemist in now transforming hate into love, transforming things that we may have thought difficult into I can do it. So it's not a, it's difficult. It's because we, we have not been dedicated the, the time or being disciplined that we are unable to do it. But there are tasks that you may have first approached as difficult. But when you put the time, the energy and effort into it and you're focused on that task at that time that you're able to get the best results out of it. Waste of your time, negative thinking. That's the biggest waste of your time. Procrastination is the killer of time, as my mother would always say. Procrastination is the killer of time. Television. Yes, it's a waste of time. I'm not saying don't watch TV. I'm just saying manage the time that you're using to watch TV. Things that aid you in using your time wisely, a diary, writing down things to do and so forth. Right? Planning your day out, planning things out in, in terms of, they would say, when you plan, you cut once instead of having to cut twice. So take the time to plan. It will save you a lot of time in doing so. Right? Planning, very important. So without further ado, I have the opportunity to introduce you to my dear friend, Dr. Sasha John Charles Beans. Dr. Sasha John Charles Beans has been an educator at the secondary level for the last 12 years. She has also served as a part-time lecturer, tutor, and teaching assistant at the University of the West Indies. Dr. John Charles Beans received her bachelor's degree in sociology with a double minor in social policy and psychology, as well as her PhD in social policy from the University of the West Indies. So now, clap, make some noise. That's my friend. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for coming to our session. And um, I certainly hope that it has been enlightenment so yeah. far you know i take mm -hmm. we have taken mm -hmm. so many good um ideas yeah. in terms of balancing yeah. our lives and so forth yeah. and today yeah. i will be focusing on understanding your self-worth you know it's very important that as we go through this journey of life that we are cognizant of our self-worth and sometimes we engage in certain behaviors practices you know uh, our self-talk and so forth that really helps to move us away from what we are destined to be. So in today's session, I want to have an opportunity for persons to have the floor. And um, you know, I just want you to share with me at this time, you know, what do you really want out of the session? What brought you to, to this session? And um, you know, what did you think that you would be able to get out of it? So I just want to open the floor to anyone. Can I go? Go right ahead. <laughs> yes, you can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's been grateful. Uh, 
for me, this is Joe Millington speaking here. It is important to have uh, relationships. Relationships uh, that helps all involved to be wholesome. Mm. You know, to sustain your wholesomeness so that we are able to share of our wholesome uh, of our wholesomeness with with others and uh, with our world you know and it just so happened that I uh, met uh, Michelle online a few years ago she had sent a message on my whatsapp I don't know how 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 I uh, she got my number, but I got a message a few years ago, and um, she was doing. She had launched a book, and she was uh, asking persons to support and um, vote for her book. And I kept her there because I found that um, on my contact, because I found that this is a person uh, that uh, is like-minded in that I also do poetry, you know, and. Um, this is a person that I would want to have as part of my circle, relationship. As I said, my thing is about relationship, building relationships uh, with like-minded human beings uh, with the intent that we can raise uh, the capacity of our human consciousness, which is, which is infinite, uh, ultimately to, for the betterment of, of uh, humankind. All right? Uh, each one of us has a, a unique, a, a unique gift that we bring to life, that we bring to it. And uh, when we stay within uh, positive circles, it helps us to share that gift that each one of us bring. So I don't want to take up too much time. I see you mentioned that. Uh, well, you were introduced. Uh, Dr. Sasha is um, having studied uh, sociology, and it so happens that I am actually uh, doing sociology now. Okay. Awesome. So, you see, uh, I think that the universe has a grand plan that uh, yeah. we, we are not aware of that, um, that brings people together. Yeah. All right. So, I am just happy that uh, I am part of this forum. Okay, uh, via Michelle, and I only expect that beautiful things can emerge from 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 this forum and the relationships that yeah. will uh, come out of this forum. Okay, so I look at yeah. it as sharpening the saw, so to speak. All right, uh, especially in, in in this time of uh, uncertainty, global uncertainty, uh, we. Human beings will find whatever forum uh, to renew our spirit, to delve into our spirit, you know, to bring out the best of who we are, to bring out our, our creativity, and uh, with the intent to come out better at the end of this global challenge that we are now facing. Right? So, yeah. So, thank you very much for, for, for having me here. Okay, great. Thanks so much for sharing. And um, anyone wants to have the floor as well? I just want to say something um, to add to what Job said. As he mentioned, he stayed in terms of keeping my number because he found it was positive and uplifting and it was like-minded. But you know, nothing happens by chance. Because here he is oh, yeah. saying that he's studying psychology. And now here we have Dr. Sasha John Charles Baines, an expert in psychology. <laughs> and our friendship, right? Yes. Part of our work in home that I didn't share with you. Because Sasha was doing psychology. I wasn't doing psychology, but guess what? I bought all of her textbooks. So I could read them and study too and talk about mm. it when she was doing A-levels. You know, so while we're walking home, I'll be like, wow. right, I know you spoke about this doctor and I read it too, you know. You know, so 
it, it as you said, it must be iron shaft and iron job. So that is uh. important. And that's why when people yeah, ask you. me, what is brand new? I don't wish to go into too many details because you know what? If it connects with you, it connects with you. If it's for you, it is for you. You know, and I know yeah. that there's so many persons here with so many talents to share. And in the end, I know we'll talk yeah. some more about that because everyone on here, let's give each person a forum where they can share their talent, talent, um, their bag of money. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Um, I, <clears throat> uh, I'll, let, I'll let Williams here. <laughs> I'm glad I actually caught this one. I missed the last um, session. Thanks to Michelle for checking in and making sure that I'm here. Uh, not to be uh, too long winded, what I, from looking at the title, what's on the screen right now and knowing, having an idea of what Michelle is trying to accomplish. For this specific session, I am really interested in seeing how I'm going to be enlightened about connecting um, self-worth with talent, with value, with um, how I am going to now use them um, in the circles I'm in, for the tasks that I do, for the people that I interact with, for those I have to help, um, because I think sometimes there can be a disconnection. Like you can have self-worth, um, but not really know all of your value or, or where to figure out um, which talents to use when. And I usually sometimes find myself either information overload or overdrive or underperforming because self-worth gets booted out for self-confidence is like one will be lower and I know I'm with it but my confidence isn't high enough so for me yeah. the challenge is really connecting it and keeping that sort of balance in knowing that all of these things are still me they, they're all enveloped in my body and my soul and my spirit and how to use it in the most potent way to bring the effect or positive impact that I wish to have in, in all of my interactions. Okay, thanks so much for sharing and thanks so much for being vulnerable as well. So I just want to have a moment of introspection. You know, a lot of persons speak about um, how challenging it is to be able to connect, as you said, you know, your self-worth to your talents, your abilities. How do we connect? And I just want at this time just to have a moment of stillness. You know, this is a time that requires us to be still, like, especially during this period of quarantine. For some of us, it's a very difficult period because we are always, you know, moving up and down, doing okay. this and that. And this um, it really requires us to question ourselves. Julian, this is to close your eyes. This is and before we get into it, uh, just a reminder for persons to mute their mic. We want to have a quiet moment at this time. So perhaps you can mute the mics. I am trying to get to that part. Just giving a brief reminder. Tens and ones. This is hundreds, tens and ones. Right? So Michelle, you can as the host you can mute mics. Yes, I'm trying. Right. I think uh, this is going to give place a one. Curling. What's the value here? Mic. Can you come back to the seven one dollars? All right, there we go. Sasha, just unmute your mic, please, darling. Thank you. Okay, great. So I just want you to have a quiet moment at this time. Close your eyes. I want you to be really honest with yourself and um, ask yourself these questions. Uh, to the end, I'm going to we're going to have the questions there. So if you want to take a note of it so that you can really ponder on it after, uh, that's okay. 